So Sean, I'll start it out. Okay, take us back to, to last year. You sort of had some some health issues early. How much did that contribute to your, you know, some some of the early season struggles you had? And then when you just got feeling good, it seemed like the season got shut down. Is, is that fair? How did that work for you? Yeah, I think it contributed a little bit, um, along with a lot of other things. I mean, this being or last year being my first year here, um, just trying to adjust as a whole. Um, but no, I mean, the, the illness in the summer in Spain uh, kind of lingered on a little longer than I, I would have liked it to. Um, but kind of like you said, later in the year, I kind of got things going, got more comfortable. Um, and then just unfortunately got, got shut down a little earlier than we all would have liked. But no, I mean, feeling super good now. Um, this summer was, was really big. I mean, granted, we, we weren't here, um, you know, as quick as we would have liked. Um, but, you know, I was still doing things on my own. And then when we got back, um, you know, just kind of back to plan how I, how I was back at Sinclair and then doing some things now. So it's been good. John? Curious, Sean, you can't vote for yourself here. Who, who do you think is the best shooter on the team? <laughs> uh, best shoot. I've been shooting a lot with, with Jordan. Um, I mean, we all, I mean, honestly, we all really, really been shooting it well. I'm um, in practice, but Jordan has, has put in a, a tremendous amount of time. I'm on his shot. Um, he's a guy I usually work out with too. Um, Taz has been shooting it really well. Um, it's, it's hard to pick just one. I mean, if I got to pick one or two, it's probably probably one of those. Jalen's been shooting it really really good too. So, kind of pick your poison there. Go ahead, Cody. Hey, Sean. Um, as a former junior college guy, is there anything that you can, you know, say or, or explain to Kedrian to kind of help him not, not you know, have a struggle at the beginning or have to get up to speed? Or are those just things you have to kind of go through yourself and work through? Yeah, um, if there's anything, I mean, first year guys just in general, whether you're a transfer, whether you're, a, you know, a freshman, a first year guy um, at the college level at all, um, I mean, mistakes are going to happen, especially here. This, this is just a unique program. Um, they do things a little bit different here, whether it's off, I mean, more so defensively, but offensively as well. It takes a little bit to, you know, get adjusted and relax. Um, but Kedron's doing well. I mean, he, he stresses himself out just a little bit. I mean, like we all do. Um, but he's going to be fine. I mean, the game's going to come. I mean, the offense is, is you know, takes a little bit to, to get used to. Um, but he's playing really well. Um, I mean, just as long as he doesn't let one play get to him or just continues to play present, he, he's going to be fine. He's going to help us a lot. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Hey, uh, coaches, uh, Coach Huggins has talked a lot about uh, the need for you guys to be able to, to spread the floor uh, to keep, you know, some of those – defenders out of the paint, uh, you know, to, to give Oscar and Derek some room to work. And uh, a lot of that is going to be making outside shots. Uh, so I'm just kind of wondering, um, man, maybe not that maybe you're under pressure to, to make those shots, but just how much of that, you know, becomes a, a, a factor into what you guys are trying to do and, and something that you, you think about, uh, uh, you know, as you're in practice or, or, or whatever. Yeah, I think I, I did that to a fault last year. I thought about it way too much. That's what they were recruiting me, telling me to come in and do. They want to be able to space the floor for Derek and Oscar. And I was just so panicked about, you know, because me being a shooter and being able to shoot the ball, I was thinking about it almost too much last year. You know, got to make shots. And for shooters, I mean, that's a, that's just something that you can't do is think about it. Because once you start thinking, I mean, the chances are, are more so than not that you're going to end up missing. Um, so this year, I'm just kind of, you know, doing what I've always done. I mean, trusting the amount of work I put in. Um, you know, I come in here every day and shoot, you know, a ridiculous amount of shots. I mean, as as does everybody else. Um, so just trusting the work that I put in and, and not really thinking about it because, you know, me, Jordan, Taz, Jalen, I mean, we, we, we shoot the ball really well. There's no reason to really think about it. Um, just doing what we do, and then that's going to allow Derek and Oscar to do what they do as well, so. We'll go to Mike Kazaza. I'm embarrassed. Justin took my question, so I'm going to have to think on the fly here. Um, I guess one thing that the Huggins and some other guys have talked about is kind of uh, roll and replace, which, you know, maybe if you're not on the ball, you don't think that you're too involved in that as a point guard or a big, but if you're on the wings, that's really important too, um, especially with maybe the way the game is being played and all that. But 
how much of a thing is that, that you can get involved in or get better in just so that that actual initial action can be effective. Yeah, it's been huge that we uh, we added Juwan to our to our staff too. Um, he's been a huge skill development guy. Um, me, Jordan, Deuce, um, we've been working out with him, you know, very often as well. Um, but no, I mean, rolling place is going to be big for us. Um, allowing Jordan and Deuce to to do what they do off ball screens, and then you know, me, Jalen, Taz on the wing, you know, rolling up and and when they come off ball screens, filling up to the wing and. And knocking down shots, like you guys said, it's going to be really important. I think that with the with the guys that we have and the skill set, uh, role and replace is, is going to be really good for us this year. Okay. So, Sean, uh, defense. How much was what you were asked to do last year sort of different from where you've been in the past, and where are you now? Do you think in terms of your defensive ability? Uh, just just being here, um, it's different in general. Um, Defensively, defensively, what they asked to do here um, is different. I think for I mean one through fourteen or fifteen, whatever we got on, um, it's just not really asked, you know, at a whole lot of other places. Um, but with a year under my belt, I feel a lot more confident in it, um, and it kind of goes, uh, you know, hand in hand. Offensively, I was thinking so much last year, um, and with the defensive principles that that we have here, I was thinking so much defensively too. Um, but I think throughout the throughout the year last year. Um, I progressed defensively as well. Um, and now I'm just kind of playing, you know, not only offens offensively, but defensively as well. Um, I think my foot works better and it's, it's all comes down to whether, you know, or really just trusting myself now. I've, I've got a year under my belt. Um, I don't, there's no reason to think anymore. Just go out there and do it, so. Okay, John. John, curious, where do you think this team's better this year than it was last year? What areas? Oh, shooting is one that I've seen not only myself, but I mean, everybody um, kind of, I mean, me and Taz, you know, specifically being new guys that that was our role to come in and, you know, that they needed um, was shoot outside shooting. Um, but that, that goes for Jalen Deuce. Um, I think we're a lot better off ball screens this year, um, this summer, specifically in open gym. I mean, yeah, it's open gym. It's not, you know, really organized. Um, but just what guys showed this summer. And it's kind of progressed into the season. I think coaches kind of saw it too, what we were doing. Um, and they saw a lot of good things and now they're trying to implement it into the offense. Um, but there's just a lot of guys doing a lot of, a lot of good things right now. Shooting is, is probably the biggest thing that I've seen, uh, biggest improvement. A lot of guys just, just doing what they do now. Real quick, last thing, promise, last thing here. Maybe a guy that's going to surprise people this year. You got one uh, you can throw out to us? Oh. God, that's going to surprise you. I think Jalen, Jalen Bridges, um, him being, you know, obviously redshirt last year. Uh, Jalen's put on, you know, probably 10 or 15 pounds of muscle. Um, he's just playing extremely hard. He's rebounding the ball. Um, he's long. He's athletic. Um, he's going to do whatever you ask him to do. So, so look out for JB.